Hello from the kitchen folks. Today I'm going to be making a slow cooked stew of pulled pork cooked in coca-cola with vegetables and spices. So here's my fabulous slow cooker, an invention which I think should be in every kitchen in the land. So I'm going to begin with two onions. So I'm just chopping my onions into small pieces and these then go into the slow cooker. So this is a lovely pork joint, nice big thick layer of fat on top, which is what we need in this recipe. So I've washed my pork joint under the tap and I'm going to put that on top of my onions. I've got some mushrooms, aubergine, courgette. I'm going to chop these up also and add them around the pork joint. So all the vegetables are being diced into nice size, small pieces. I'm now really going to peak the flavours by adding a variety of herbs and spices to it. So in no particular order, we'll have the equivalent of two teaspoonfuls of nutmeg, two teaspoonfuls of ground ginger, two teaspoonfuls of paprika, two teaspoonfuls of onion granules, two teaspoonfuls of turmeric, and one teaspoonful of cayenne pepper. And I'm now gonna add some dried mixed herbs, Italiano mixed herbs. So it's looking like a work of art, but I haven't finished yet. I'm now gonna add a squirt of garlic puree. We need some garlickiness. And one of the surprise ingredients, I'm gonna put some black treacle on this, a really generous tablespoonful. I'm just gonna let that all drizzle. But perhaps the most surprising ingredient of all is Coca-Cola. So I'm gonna make up a pint. So this is caffeine-free, Diet Coke, you don't need to use that sort. This is just what we had in the house. And then this gets poured on top. Finally, I'm just gonna add a couple of teaspoonfuls of sugar. And a dash of sea salt. Now the lid goes on and it's important that it stays on to keep the heat in there. We're going to have a look at that now. I'm hoping for something very tender. And look at that. Yes. That is beautiful. Look how the fats come away. So the fat has partially dissolved into the liquid, which has given flavor, but the meat will have absorbed all those spices. And that will have taken on an incredible flavor. That's gonna be so tender. So I'm just gonna remove the string that's holding this pork together. And if I roll the meat, it's come straight away from the fat that's absolutely beautiful. So I've obviously got to try a bit. Oh wow. Mmm, that's incredible. The flavours from all the spices have really been absorbed. That pork tastes exquisite. So I'm just going to separate some of the fat from the meat itself, because I'm going to do something else with that. So you can see the fat joint is there and that meat is just so tender. It's just breaking apart. So I'm going to make some nice pulled pork from this. 
As for the fat and the skin from the outside, I'm going to make some pork scratchings from this in a separate recipe. Okay, so this is the liquid that the pork was in, the Coca-Cola and all the spices and the vegetables. It's too thin and I want to thicken it up, so I'm going to take it out of here and just thicken it in a wok. So I'm just adding some of the liquid out of the slow cooker into a, a pint glass. Into my glass I'm adding a very little bit of plain flour. A little bit to begin with. And I just want to introduce these together and try and blend them. And a little bit more. And a little bit more. And you can see the colour of the liquid has completely changed. It's gone like a coffee compared to what it was. I'm also now going to add a sprinkling of corn flour, which is a lot finer flour. And I want to mix that in as well. I'm doing it gradually because I don't want to get lumps. This is a thin liquid packed with flavour and veggies and what I want to do is to thicken this up now. So this is now beginning to boil so I'm going to pour in the liquid that's got the flour and corn flour in it and then I just need to stir and I'll let that come back to a simmer. So while the stew thickens I'm going to pull the pork apart with two forks. It's really easy to do this. You see how it's just pulling? It's so easy, this is just one fork. And all I'm going to do is keep doing this until the whole joint has come apart. So the stew's taken on a lot thicker constituency now. And the pork is pulled. And both the pork and the stew are now ready to go back inside the slow cooker. Look how lovely and thick that's gone. And very carefully that goes back on top of the pork and then the whole thing gets stirred like that. This is a good looking pulled pork stew. A wonderful hot dish for a really rotten winter's day which it is out there. So now I want this all to continue to infuse and thicken together so I'm going to leave it on low for another two hours. Okay, steamy. Look at that. Right. Oh, that looks good. It's so thick. Look at all that meat, the veg, the gravy. That's all come together so nicely. But as ever, the proof is in the eating. Oh, wow, hot. Oh, wow. That is so sweet. Almost a quite barbecue taste to it. Absolutely fantastic. Perfect winter warmer. Honestly, pulled pork in a slow cooker with Coca-Cola. You can't go wrong. I could literally eat the whole thing. This is a dish where the best things certainly come to those that wait. The film that you've just watched is a Moss Home and Garden production. You can find more by going to www.mosshomeandgarden.co.uk. I'd just like to say thank you very much for supporting my YouTube channel and for watching my films. It really is very much appreciated. 
If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my YouTube channel in order to receive future updates about the home and garden films which I upload. You can find my YouTube channel by going to www.mosshomeandgarden.co.uk. Please click on the red subscribe button. When you've done that, a little bell will appear. If you press that also, then you'll get future updates about the films which I upload. If you like my films, if you like my style of filming, then you might also like my travel channel, which you will find by going to youtube.com forward slash Stuart Moss or typing www.mosstravel.tv. Again, if you could subscribe to that channel, it would be hugely appreciated. If you'd like to get Moss Home and Garden updates on Facebook, then please open Facebook and do a search for Moss Home and Garden and you will find the page. If you like the page, then you will get future updates on there. And if you'd like to connect on Instagram for home, garden and travel photography, as well as some stories, then my username is Stu Moss, S-T-U-M-O-S-S. If you'd like to connect on Twitter, then my username is at Stuart Moss. And if you'd like to contact me about film usage or any other issue, please just email me on stewmosshomegarden at gmail.com. Once again, thank you very much for supporting my channel, for watching my films. I do appreciate it. I'd just like you all to have a great day.